вернусь, приветствую. Фердус, hello, hello, Андрей. Can you remember the times when the TV was domineering uh, information resource on the market? Of course I do. When we came to the remote districts, I remember when I worked a lot with Mintsimir Sharipovich. Uh, we traveled a lot around Republic and of course Republican TV was very powerful and within a very short period of time I became uh, recognizable. Everyone recognized me by my voice and everyone wondered why I had such a strong voice and I was very slender that time and our television played an important role and uh, the big heads uh, paid a lot of attention to what we say and how we say it. Can you feel that the television is ousted by networks and uh, uh, Internet? No, I don't. Internet is a means of communication. The content is still primar of primary uh, attention. And uh, the quality content is about professionals, including television. And people are ready to watch quality content to pay for that. One of these exam such examples is the Game of uh, Thrones, uh, a series that people paid a lot of money. Uh, and very many people watched it. It was very interesting. It was quality uh, series and if you see the share of the content produced by TV uh, specialists in the internet this share is very high and at present TV is becoming a tool a weapon we and uh, it is my opinion the holding I work at is the flagship of the information fight against external information risks and we have a lot of experts and people with authority who can influence the public opinion as a whole, not only in the country but also abroad. What is your attitude to anonymity in the Internet? Internet is still wild. It is not regulated yet. Maybe it is its beauty. On the other hand, there is responsibility for me as a journalist. Responsibility for what I say plays an important, great role. Well, of course, we've uh, been brought on it and we uh, learned that if you say some and forgive some information online, you should be 200% sure that this information is verified. Of course, it is our education, upbringing, it is our attitude. And if you write bad words about someone on the Internet, of course, you should be responsible for that. On the one hand, I am very negative about it. But on the other hand, uh, to regulate and to fix it is almost is impossible. We don't have to do that. Internet should be the space where there is some freedom of activity. And, well, we should have some alternative opinions. Yes, it is inaccessible uh, to uh, uh, agree on extremist content or the content that destroys uh, children's psyche, though I do not know what content is so to say, digested by children, as they know much more uh, in the Internet and they have a very strong psyche. They know everything from side and they know much more than we do. And uh, it is the sphere where we should work and work over it. What is your main audience today? During the pandemic, uh, did you increase the audience? Uh, where did people watch uh, news on, on, on TV, in the Internet? Our audience is Tatar-speaking and Russian-speaking multinational people of the Republic of Tatarstan. And we work mainly uh, in the Russian language. doesn't mean that only Russian-speaking people watch us. We're also, also Tatars and Chuvash people watch it. I, don't have any uh, dreams. I know that our audience is 45 plus and this tendency from year to year is changing uh, in uh, 
in the direction of increasing uh, population. Well, uh, and you know, my mother-in-law is about 70 and she is subscribed to all the social networks and she consumes the information from smartphone. And my parents as well have already mastered uh, mobile phones and well, our people who are 60, 70 years old, uh, they are different from those who were 10 years ago. And our audience are women, housewives who are elder than, older than 40 or 45. It is the working class who comes from work every evening and switches on TV. It is the smart, intelligent people. As for the depth of watching during pandemic, it, we have the record indicators. We've broken all the records, very high indicators we have. Each third viewer watched our news programs according to their data. We have uh, entered pandemics with uh, Zuliha Opens Her Eyes. It is a popular series that Many people in the Russian Federation watched as well. That is why pandemics, of course, played its role and uh, brought the audience back to TV screens. Well, maybe it is a little bit late, I admit it, but we uh, work actively with Internet site as well, and we create another content. Internet site lives its own life. Have you made another editor? Uh, well, there are two people with two correspondents of the news service. They make 24-7 line or news line, and now we try to do a video content that should be different from uh, TV. We master TikTok, uh, WhatsApp, Instagram, all these tools. We have to work according to different standards in the networks and messengers, we understand that we should deal with that because it, it is the foundation for the future, but the content in the messengers and on TV is different. But ideology is the same. For example, what we write in the Internet page will not be reflected in the TV, and everything we say on TV will not be retranslated on the site. But uh, the publishing uh, ideology is preserved. Have you had to, have you got to retrain the specialists and journalists? Well, it is very difficult to retrain and we train from scratch. We have some courses. Of course, now it is the distance learning courses. We educate from scratch. And you understand? I also understand something about it, but very little. Well, I have all the knowledge about TV, but on the Internet, the system is completely different. The algorithms work there. Well, for example, Yandex changes its algorithms, and there is a very complicated technology included, and all the tricks that we use to work on TV do not work in the Internet. Well, to reach... Uh, a person uh, is a very complicated problem. If you have chosen the wrong word, you don't get to the audience. And you switch on TV, it works, and you have nowhere to go. And teacher, well, the viewers are attached to TV screens. And do you train specialists? Yes, I do train specialists. But, you know, the market is, is rather new. And the prices are very high, and we are prone to teach from scratch, to train from scratch. Unfortunately, the budgets we have, the funds we have, do not allow us to, to invest into this development. We, well, we, we train them from scratch, they grow and they leave us. Well, it is a normal practice. What about radio broadcasting? Lately we have the information that radio is uh, losing its influence. 
uh, in terms of advertisement and all other directions. Well, you know the radio of Tatarstan has uh, more than nine, 90 years history. It is a classical radio with its listeners who are very conservative and our content is very classical. It is very difficult to sold it, to sell it. I have a dilemma as a head, either to break it and uh, work it out, commercialize and uh, customize it to another audience, and whether we will get this new audience or to still hold the our audience who is very smart, who are still reading, very think, thought over people. I always, I'm always online with the listeners. They express their opinions and it is a very serious issue for me and I haven't still found the answer to it. Dus, how do you find materials in the internet or do you have the phone calls, do you have press releases, secretaries, how do you collect the information? The problem of finding information does not exist. The problem is how to extract the most interesting of it. There is a flood of information and I do not know how we build out the agenda, uh, the day agenda, it is our intuitive feeling, well, it happens uh, as it is. Well, it is just the plenary sessions that we have every day, uh, plenary meetings that we have. Maybe there is no topic also. Maybe it is not interesting for people, the topic that we've chosen. Maybe people do not discuss it, do not even think of this topic. And all of a sudden you see the topic which is not interesting at all to you, to viewers. And it is the everyday fight, arguments, and the last moment search when they say, well, we have an hour and a half before the online and we have to invent something and make a plot of it and we have to hook the viewer. You shouldn't live your life and the viewers shouldn't live their lives uh, because otherwise you will lose the viewers and news is interesting. That is what I always repeat. We shouldn't treat it as a routine or everyday agenda. They sh it should be new every day. We should turn from top to bottom the pyramid, and it is always a new format. Well, so don't think that you will never start it. And then you switch on the TV, you watch news and understand. Well, that's it. That was the right thing we've done. Uh, when it is our intuitive feeling, we can't uh, explain it. We can only feel it. There is a lot of information. How do you sort out this information? Do you have some censorship, internal or external? Well, since 1998, have I been working in the journalism and I started in Coast Tele Radio Company, Tatarstan. Of course, we have internal censors, especially when you are the head. Of course, it is enhanced. And, uh, well, so we still exist in journalistics and it is the good thing that you grow your sensors on your own, inside. Any topic, as you know, I work and I never, have never received any uh, authority uh, claims that I worked this or that topic. Uh, there were claims why this way or why uh, when the journalists by trying to highlight the topic which is irrelevant uh, tries to make it better. Well, so when we speak about the topic that we should touch upon or shouldn't touch upon, but there are two sides, and when you see two sides, no one can claim anything to you. When you weigh over, uh, but when you hear only one side and don't hear another side, well, so when authorities say that everything is bad with the topic you highlight, well, then, uh, then the Telegram channel 
is another platform, alternative platform for expressing your ideas the way they are. And I've always worked in the newspaper. Well, it is much easier in the newspaper. And I wrote critical materials. Uh, there were a lot of them, and you should write every the way so that you unashamedly meet a person who you were criticized. It is very important because Kazan is a small city. Well, not just about the small city, but you are conscious and there, there are fears and conscious. No, no. If you are afraid, don't go to journalistics. Uh, once I went by taxi from radio, uh, TV, television uh, station, and there was the military conflict, and the taxi driver asked how they are not afraid. But I asked, answered that it is just like the profession of a military man. If you are afraid, don't go and don't become a journalist. Well, for those you live in Kazan and receive your salary, get the salary in Moscow, did you have any conflict situations connected with this? Or you also get your salary here, or only here you get your salary? Well, so are you asking me about the salary or about, I'm asking about priorities. I'm a happy person. I work in the Republic, which is a line with the understanding of unified objectives of the federal center. The objectives uh, sold on the regional level in Tatarstan are aimed at enhancements of the Russian Federation. And here we have no conflicts. We organized large international events. We had a lot of events, and they are all aimed at enhancement of the Russian Federation. And if Tatarstan produces oil, it pays taxes for both Russian Federation and to the Republic of Tatarstan. There are no contradictions, and they ask me, uh, does Moscow watch you? Well, of course they do. They watch the attitude to professional standards, not concerning topics in your news. They do not ask it. It is the problem concerning the e question concerning the federal standards. As for topics, why you choose this or that never is a question. Do you have the requests uh, from the federal t center to eliminate uh, or to cancel this or that report or in conflict situation when you highlight some um, uh, uh, bad events, when, when something happens, we of course claim that we are going to watch it and we send this information, we send the video, and there were situations and negative news. What about negative news? Well, there was a situation in Titush, Titush region, children, parents were deprived of, uh, and, and, and children were taken from the family. But we found out a lot of details about this family, but the headline was, and we had a video uh, that in Tatarstan, the uh, children protection bodies uh, took children from their father. And of course, the publicity was indignant, and we found the truth and this uh, video uh, was repeated with uh, more details. Of course, we proven our right. Well, we never try to, so to say, uh, find conflicts with the local authorities. And once I remember we were talking with my friend in Moscow, and something some emergency situation happened in the Far East or in any other region. I am not going to say specific. Don't show that. And uh, if you see some, uh, if there are some uh, small cases, you always show them. And I asked, why do you show it? And Tatarstan usually, well, my, co my friend said, Tatarstan says, we are the best. We always do our best. And uh, that is why 
it is interesting for us to find uh, and work with those who claim that they are the best. Well, uh, and you should punish those who, uh, well, of course, we are very friendly with uh, other, our colleagues from different uh, uh, channels. And did you ever find yourself between two fires? Uh, the work of a journalist, and I'm a chief editor, I am always between two fires. Well, on, uh, let us put it this way. Very often, Rustam Minikhanov uh, said about n the negative information from federal channels. There is a lot of positive, uh, and the people work, they uh, create, and they are talking only of murders and um, very negative news. How do you generate positive, good news uh, for federal uh, level? Do you manage to push, so to say, the uh, videos and the news? Uh, there was the case when I uh, highlighted the event when Taneka was opened with serious equipment and machinery, they watched it and didn't take this news. Now everything has changed, the agenda has changed. From the point of view of economy, it is not very good, but from the journalist agenda, the sanctions influence drastically. It was impossible to speak about village before sanctions. As soon as sanctions were introduced, uh, we started highlighting the information on the harvesting in some districts. I am not talking about of production of uh, large br cattle. Sanctions about cheese that we started to produce, medicine, science, innovations. Uh, well, we have Inopolis, and now we have a lot of positive content if we uh, see on the federal resources. And the sanctions became uh, the sobering uh, factor. And I will agree with you that I remember uh, the news about all the negative uh, content. And uh, all of a sudden, al uh, along with the negative content, we saw the uh, you're sailing uh, close to London somewhere, and now serious attention is paid to uh, the prod production achievements, industri industrial achievements in the regions. And lately we have a new uh, coil of attention to regions. If you see Russian, Russia 24-7, uh, you will see that they pay more attention to the local uh, news and regional news. Uh, though the, well, the channel is uh, based on the regional contents. Do your journalists get any motivation except for moral if their uh, videos are shown on the federal channels? Of course, they receive some money. I do not, uh, I'm never interested. But there is the revenues that the fee that they get to their plastic cards. I understand the, uh, my guys are satisfied and happy with what they get. And is it really cool to be a regional journalist or the federal journalist? Uh, well, there are standards. You have to meet the standards. How can I become your employee, we also just uh, you go from street and get to, and if you are good at your profession, then you stay with us. There are guys who come to us, then uh, leave from Moscow, well, some leave us at all, well, it is just the process. Uh, I switched on TV today to see one of our journalists who came from street, and now he works in, at Much TV, and he broadcasts there. He's the host of the program. Uh, did you have uh, the initiative with the Tatar language, as it is the federal channel? No, it is not our initiative. It is the ideology. And uh, Vegeterka uh, broadcasts uh, in more than 50 languages in each national, regional 
in Dagestan, I'm afraid to be mistaken, there is about 14 languages. You have the Tatar editing that works in the Tatar language together with news, publicity, creation of news in the Tatar language, in the national languages, is budgeted by VGTRK from the Russian Federation budget. And the uh, theme programs are free, is financed by the resources of the Tatarstan Republic. Uh, besides the news, uh, what programs do you have on your channel? Uh, the main a line is news uh, reels. Um, in the Tatar language, we produce the amusement and uh, public program, uh, the uh, program Zamanda. Uh, we speak about uh, the uh, workers of the um, uh, cultural people, uh, cultural workers, uh, discussion formats um, uh, concerning health and according to the program of the republic uh, of the president of the republic of Tatarstan, and and mainly this is information and uh, publicistic content because all those programs are done uh, in the same by the same people who do the news some extreme situation can you remember uh, in live broadcast something happened uh, during the um, uh, shooting uh, when you got afraid of something. Uh, when I was broadcasting live or my people, uh, well, in general, in your TV career, I cannot remember. Or, or do you have stress every day? Well, if you are on broadcast every day, is stress. And one of the stresses like that so I had uh, when I was hosting a program and uh, someone died. I was uh, reading out an obituary and um, uh, they uh, put on the screen a photo of a live person. Uh, and uh, I, I can see, uh, um, uh, I could understand that this person is alive, I could not, I could not remember his name, uh, but I uh, was sure 100% that he was alive and I read it out. Um, and I understood that the photo was of a live uh, person, and uh, I, uh, um, I, I uh, um, acknowledged it before the spectators. Uh, so uh, it was a difficult case. Uh, so it happens things like this because it is a TV. And uh, didn't you have a shock um, like uh, when you as a head uh, sitting and watching and uh, you see like your people are uh, making, uh, are, are delivering a fake news or something which is uh, absolutely wrong? Well, I cannot watch everything uh, absolutely, uh, but I, I know the agenda of our newsreels. Uh, well, there are cases like you are describing, for example, yesterday. I'm watching the newsreel, and there was information of um, how the first September, the first of September, uh, was going to be celebrated, and there is an announcement, uh, the first of September, in the uh, conventional standard, and uh, the picture shows the first of September last year. This is non-professional, absolutely. It could uh, should not be done this way. Uh, this is absolutely um, wrong. Um, when you pu uh, put the picture uh, showing last year, um, and in these moments you want to kill people, uh, but it, it, it's already evening and you sit at home, you cannot do that. Uh, but in the morning, yes, of course, we do discuss all those uh, situations and we uh, re edit. Okay, uh, short questions, lightning round. What will change in Tatarstan in 10 years and in 100 years in TV? In 10 years in Tatarstan, I think um, the villages will be changed or completely. 
uh, in um, uh, 1997 I came to Kazan uh, Kazan was absolutely like a village, muddy and today the city has changed there drastically I remember slums uh, around the Kremlin uh, the trolley bus, uh, the barracks and the mud and during this time the uh, city has changed completely the villages are now changing my native village uh, 18 kilometers from the regional center district center uh, they they have uh, speed wi-fi their uh, roads uh, good quality roads uh, previously they don't have it didn't have it um, you you cannot imagine what kind of roads uh, they were or were not uh, and in 10 years i suppose we will get the new kind of villages uh, with absolutely new ideology the system of uh, farmer support, uh, small um, household support, um, a new um, medium class is arising, and we um, assist them with funding. And in the villages, there are people uh, who can get uh, funding. Uh, it was impossible previously, and people get um, big money, and uh, they can live accordingly. In 100 years. Uh, there will be a different generation because now genetically we um, uh, install uh, the leadership qualities of the um, uh, of, of the generation. Uh, so here we will go leaders who will say we will do better, we will do uh, greater, and these genetics in 100 years will be even more influential. Where is the place of power in your in Tatarstan? This is my native village. Unfortunately, I cannot get there often. Uh, my parents live there. What is the power of Tatarstan in unity? Unity of different nationalities, uh, different levels of authority. What Tatarstan lacks? Well, I lack a big uh, bookstore in the center of Kazan. Many many cities have it, uh, and we were probably the only um, city on, around, uh, along the border without the embankment. And now we do have it, and now only the bookstore uh, that we are like. Uh, okay, next question. If you had to leave Tatarstan, what would you take for memory? Uh, well, I also have a book. Uh, this book accompanies uh, me all my life. Uh, my mother, when I was leaving the village uh, to go to study to the university, uh, she gave it to me. A Tatar national cuisine. Uh, at the end of 80s, it was published. Uh, it is classical. Uh, it, it, green, green cover? No, not, not green. It's uh, brown cover. Uh, my mother had green. It's classical. Uh, one nine uh, dishes. No, it's a different book, a classical edition, uh, I always take it with myself. Uh, do your children live in Tatarstan? Are they going to live? Yeah, uh, they all here, uh, but they are still young. Uh, we bring them up in the way uh, my spouse and me, uh, in um, the love to the uh, native land and traditions. Uh, if you had several lives, uh, which places would you go? I like the Caucasus. Uh, our Caucasus in Russia, uh, Siberia. Uh, so you feel yourself uh, yourself uh, like a mountaineering person. Yes, I like mountains. What can we uh, be taught? What can we learn from the youth? Um, courage, because we are the generation uh, which grew up uh, in the box. Uh, in the blinders, uh, but they are not afraid of growth. What is the main ad advice uh, you can give to the youth? Uh, I would not achieve anything if I did not dedicate uh, myself every day uh, to my profession without any days off. Uh, so what I achieved uh, is great labor. What would be your first decree as the president of Tatarstan? to open a books, uh, bookstore in the center of Kazan. Uh, well, I've never th thought about it. 
well, um, you have the magic wand and the first decree, the first presentation, okay, open a big uh, book store. So I was right. Thank you.